have a voicemail. This is Don Maloney Remax. I have some fun. Well, that's good. A new realtor. Hopefully that'll work out. I'll give them a call tomorrow in the morning before I abscond. Um, realtors are good, but usually they, you know, I charge a lot of money for my photos. <laughs> because we do a lot of work. People don't, I mean, there's hours of editing, and especially if we do video, um, it just, it takes a long time to do it. So, um, when they, when they do, a lot of times I'll call them back and they're like, oh, uh, no thanks. You know, a lot of real, a lot of real, real estate photographers in the area charge about 100 to 125 dollars. They don't do the video. They don't do the, they do some HDR presets, but they don't do actual HDR. And you know, it's um, their work's not as good as what we do for sure. I mean, there's no, there is no comparison. Our work is much better than what those guys are putting out. But at the same time, it's hard to get people to to understand that. So. I don't know. How do you how do you express to somebody the difference in quality until they see it? But even then, you know, they're like, "Hey, we really like what we see." And then you call them, tell them the prices, and they're like, "Oh, well." You know, it's hard for a realtor because the realtors aren't. Um, no, they're not invested in the house, so. They might want to sell a house, and they're going to make some money off of it, but there's no guarantee that they're going to sell that house. So it's hard for them to, to, to pony up and pay somebody else to do work for the house if they're not going to get that refund back. But the truth of the matter is the Internet's how you sell a house. And the first thing that people see are the photographs. So if the photographs suck, they're going to move on to the next house. Or if the photographs don't do a good job describing the house they move on and so as a as a realtor it's important that you have a team of, of people that are behind you but a photographer is one of those and if you're going to cheap out and spend a hundred bucks on a photographer you're going to get a crappy product and the realtor that uses me is much more likely to sell the house and when the people see the photos they're most more likely to come out to the house and it works it just works you know I like my like my father-in-law always says there's always two transactions that happen with real estate somebody sells a house and somebody buys a house <laughs> everything else is just the journey getting there I've thought about becoming a realtor because with our with the you know my knowledge of the internet and you know the fact that I do my own photos already and I can do quite a good media presentation you know it's it's a uh, it could be a good thing, but you have to really do it all the time. And the guys that, you know, make all the phone calls, which I hate doing, they're, they're the ones that do the best, it seems like. My, you know, they're, well, it depends. I don't know. There's some really good realtors that I work with. Let's see. This? In your, in your toddler room? You're the little little Lelly. Your little Nooney bug. Yeah, I'm digging this tractor. What's the matter, matey? You love Soupy. When you're in the toddler room, you like to see Soupy. Yeah. <laughs> John, you are so cute. I wonder if it's automatic, like if it senses the bail in real life. I know some of them are. Let's see, where's the next bail? We have a tractor eye view. Yeah, that sun's going way down fast. <laughs> Got 
Got about 10 more minutes, and i got to hop in the shower and get ready for tonight. So I don't know that we're going to get to the actual sell-off, but, you know, I'll record it. You're not going to be left without seeing it, but I'm wondering if this session is going to come to an abrupt end here soon to be picked up later. No, I'm going to practice, honey. It's not church church. It's just me practicing with the guys. Man, I'm hungry. Ugh. Is Rai Rai going to be here? No. There we go. I thought I saw a bale further down here, but I guess not. Let's hop out and get a bird's eye view. One thing you can't do in real life. I'll hop out and grab this. While I'm here. Oh, it stops. <laughs> I was hoping that would continue going if I left the tractor running, but I guess not. Now, I think in real life, there's a seat on there, isn't there? I think somebody actually sits on this and runs it. I guess not. Ugh. Brakes. Well, this is the last bale on this field. So we'll see how much money we make. Like I said, I'm predicting about 300000 Maybe. Let's see. We'd have, if we had 50 bales, it would be th about 300000 Maybe. I don't know. I'm not good at that. At that kind of estimating. But there is that. <laughs> I'll fold this up as we drive over to the other field. Yep, there's the S SPV, so I did buy a Coon. Interesting. I thought I was going to buy the other one, but okay, it's alright. That's the nicer one, for sure. I'm not complaining. I don't think anything's up there, so let's get started on this field. Oh, there's a lot of bales on this side, too, though. There might be 50 bales. What time is it, actually? 5.51, yeah, I got 10 minutes and I got to hop. They probably took the car, didn't they? I never get to drive my car. My wife drives my car all the time. It makes me nuts. She has a minivan that I bought for her, and she drives my car. I'm just like, ugh. I've been, uh, last time, I was in my car two weeks ago. It was the last time I've driven my car. And I've been in the van all the rest of the time. She keeps taking my car. <laughs> And the van is newer. My poor van. It's beat the crap out of my van. It's such a nice car, and then it's like all... It's not dirty. I mean, I keep it pretty clean. I had it looking almost showroom the other day, but still, it's it's got a... You know, all these, these kids have scratched it up with their bikes. The windshield's cracked because of our trip to Texas. I'm just like, oh, And that's going to be like... Four or five hundred bucks to get replaced. Just not in the mood for that. Not really in a financial position either. It's too expensive. Go this way. Decide where to bail next.
<laughs> so exciting. All right, well, we'll call it. Uh, we'll take a break here, and then I'll come back when I'm done and collecting, uh, because this is probably still going to take me another 15 or 20 minutes, and it's not really that exciting. You guys have seen enough wrapping. <laughs> All right, guys, see you in a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, the sun is going down. It is now almost 7 o'clock at night. Girls aren't boy cows? What did you say? Come here, I can't hear you. Talk in the microphone so everyone can hear you. What? I said bulls on the boy cows and cows on the girls. Yes, that's right. And then a candid to no bulls on cows. Yes, they are. I don't even know if you call it a cow. I think the word cow. If I'm not mistaken, means fe is a female always. Like even like with a, a whale, a female whale is called a cow. Yeah. But when you talk about cows, we call them cows. But I think they're actually considered a bovine. I think is what we call that. Like the real the real term is that they're bovine. The cow is the female, and the bull is the male. I'm not sure though. But I don't. We call them cows, but they're they're not. They're actually. Well, maybe they are. I don't know. They're, I don't know if the animal is cow, and we say cow and bull, but I think they're different breeds of animals. Like they're like bovine and sabu, and um, like you know, even like buffaloes. You have a cow that's a buffalo, and you have a bull that's a buffalo, but they're both buffalo. I'm not sure what our. I'm gonna look it up. Hold on, folks. Okay, so the answer to the question, uh, Wikipedia did say they are bovine, so I was correct. But they also say that we call them cattle, so they can be interchangeable. You can either be, it can be bovine and it can also be cattle. It means the same thing. So the cow is the female cattle, the bull is the male cattle, or bovine. It depends on what you want to call it, but it's the same species. Yes, Violet, come closer so I can hear you. So You've got to come talking to the microphone. So a female whale is called a cow. That's right. A female whale is called a cow, and a female hippopotamus is called a cow, and a female elephant is called a cow. So cow would almost be like saying girl or mom. And then bull is the male. You have bulls, you have elephant bulls, you have whale you have bull whales. I mean they're 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 all it's male or female. And then the calf is the baby. You have to talk into the microphone, I can't hear you. So if it's a baby is a it's a calf. A baby what? A baby hippo is a cat. A baby hippo what? Say the whole word because it was. A baby, a baby hippo is it a cat? Yes, that's right. Oh, you said hippopotamus. Okay. <laughs> I thought you said hippo hypothesis. <laughs> Pants, you are so cute. Isn't she cute? She's a cute kid. Dad, what's wrong you like? What? What's wrong you? Uh, yeah, bulls are usually. Pretty aggressive and crabby. If you catch a bull at the wrong time of day, he'll rip your face off. Uh, no, they use their horns and they flick you around. They catch you. It's a misnomer that bulls are attracted to the color red. They actually think that bulls are colorblind. What they get attracted to is you waving a cloth around. It can be any color. Now, people, you always see the 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 bull guy with he's Toro Toro and he has the 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 the, ro the red cape. That's they're, They say that bulls can't really see color, that they're colorblind. Are they real? But they see you waving the cape, and it, and of course, you know the sad thing is, and I, you know, you don't know this until you get to. So maybe I'm spoiling someone's idea of what a bullfight is, but they actually, as the bull runs by, well, they do a couple things. First of all, they tie. Well, I guess we have to be kind of graphic about it. They tie their testicles in a knot, from what I understand, like using a rope. And that makes the bull angry, because obviously it's very uncomfortable. It's, it's really gross. <laughs> Sorry, folks. That might be pushing this channel just beyond the line. <laughs> but that's what they do. And then they send the bull out there with the with the matador. And every time he passes, the guy stabs him with a sword. He carries a bunch of swords. And as the bull runs past, he sticks a sword in the bull. So each time the bull goes by, 
he gets another sword in him and eventually it kills the bull. So it's kind of sad. It's, you know, but we were talking, Mater and I were talking about cows and pigs while I was bailing. And he says, I don't, I don't like eating cows and I don't like eating pigs. I said, well, do you like hamburgers? Do you like bacon? He's like, yeah. I'm like, well, it's a hard thing. I've got, there's a girl at our church that's on our worship team that I met last week that she's, she's a, a vegetarian and she's just never been able to eat animals. She's like, I ate them until I was like 13 or 14 years old and I just felt guilty and I didn't want to eat them anymore. So I just stopped eating animal. She said she'll have chicken here and there, but. That's right, chicken's a chicken. <laughs> everybody, everybody's got different things. If you don't eat meat, I understand it. I love animals too, and it makes me sad, but at the same time, it tastes so freaking good. <laughs> and oddly, you know, we were meant, to, we were made, designed, evolved, whatever you believe. I personally believe designed, but. Uh, to and it's getting late at night. I'm going to put the the mower away because I'm definitely not going to be mowing tonight. I mean, we're we're this is the end of it. We're gonna we're gonna grab. We're gonna. Oh, look at my tractor's rolling away. Hey, forgot to put the parking brake on. <laughs> weird. I wonder if I could do. Hang on, let's see if I could recreate that. <gasps> no, it didn't do it again. Wow, that was weird. It was in reverse. Anyway, um, yes, uh, yes. What do you want, Mater? Our bull's real. Yeah. Anyway, we were designed to eat meat. Um, it's not too much of it's not healthy for us, but we really were. Humans were designed to eat proteins, and I watched a special from a doctor, not not a Christian guy, not a guy that he's a, he is an evolutionist. He doesn't believe the same things I believe, but he was talking about you know I have a big fat belly, and he was talking about you know beer belly, which of course that was the original thing, but now everybody's got them. And he calls it a wheat belly. And here's the thing. if you In beer, the reason why, why would that be related? Well, beer is a grain. And he's like, basically, humans didn't really eat grains. We ate them through the animals that we ate. But we didn't really start eating grains until maybe a couple, you know, 10, 20,000 years ago when man figured out that they could eat the grains. But before that, the animals ate them, and we didn't eat them. Um, so it... It's not necessarily good for our health to eat grains. We've been taught that it's like the biggest food group and it's the most important in our diet. But what it does is it gives you a huge bloated belly. <laughs> and it's actually it's hard for your body to process some of it. This is the this is the latest scientific thinking. Now I don't know. Maybe the guy's a quack, who knows. He wasn't selling nothing though. He just was talking about it. And you know, I think it's interesting because I I do feel like you know, if you uh, you know, obviously a lot of the diets, the South Beach diet, the the um and even like the hippies are kind of you know there's a my mom my mom goes to a doctor she's got some health issues and the doctor's like well you can't eat wheat anymore you've got way too much wheat in your diet you've, you're eating this you're eating that you're eating all these things and it's bad for you because you're just your body's real to eat that i was like so hearing this other guy say that just kind of confirmed it i'm like wow i didn't i didn't Daddy, know yes honey when is a bull gonna hit you when's a bull gonna hit me yeah never hopefully yeah, stay away from the bulls and they won't hit you. Oh, I needed to grab my trailer. I'm going to run down and get the tractor. So anyway, I thought it was interesting. He's like, you're really not supposed to eat a lot of wheat. And really, you're not supposed to eat any wheat. Um, you're really supposed to eat vegetables, fine. Fruits, fine. Animal is good, is okay. Protein is good. But, you know, if you can cut a lot of wheat out of your diet, you will lose weight. And interestingly, that's what this... Obviously, the Adkins was the first try. Uh, and the Adkins actually worked for me very well, but the problem was when I stopped doing the Adkins, I gained it all back. Um, you have to make a lifestyle of it. You can't eat Adkins your whole life because if you're eating a lot of meat all the time, it's just not good for you. I am kind of doing the Adkins diet again. It worked for me. I'm going to kind of jumpstart myself and lose, you know, hopefully 20, 30 pounds and then start doing a regular diet. South Beach is really kind of the way to go because you can eat different varieties of foods, but once again, it keeps you away. South Beach keeps you away from the grains. Uh, you're really not supposed to eat things like donuts, cake, cookies, <laughs> pizza. <laughs> I love pizza. <laughs> what is pizza made out? Well, pizza's made out of mostly bread. Even whole grains and stuff like where you get better kinds of bread, they're still not very good for you. So it's just I'm trying to cut it out of my life and gonna hopefully lose weight. Let's see. Loading type. We're going to start automatic loading. 
Uh, yeah, we'll do that in a second here. Yeah, honey. Oh, we gotta change the product type. Am I what? Daddy, I wish bulls weren't real. You wish that bulls weren't real? Yeah. Silage round bales. Okay. So you select your type. And the B button, is that this? Is that B? We actually have to press B, okay. Yeah, honey. What? Can you show me a bowl? No, we're gonna I'm playing right now. Mm -hmm. Alright, so if we press B, we cannot exceed, I think, like ten or I forget what the speed is, but it's not you have to stay below a certain speed or it automatically disables. So I think we'll we'll just go like ten knots or fifteen knots. I don't have a bowl right now. And then you just drive by the bale and it automatically loads it onto the trailer. Now this is cheating. Uh, it saves you the time of trying to pick each bale up individually. Uh, I don't mind this at all, actually, because it's the same thing as a pickup wagon. It just doesn't have the fancy pickup device. So it's it's kind of a neat mod. It is available on Mod Hub, but once again, it's it's a little bit. Uh, you really, sh if you were going to load these by hand, it'd be cool if. I don't know. They need to figure out some system of being able to make it easier to load yeah. and unload these wagons. That's yes. You, you guys need to talk into the microphone. I can't hear you. Okay, Daddy. Yes. Show us a picture of a bull. I never saw one before. A what? A picture of a bull. You guys have seen bulls? They just are cows with horns. I have Are they red? Are they red? Um. You know, they call it the red heifer. Um, yes, they can be red, but really it's brown. They're just like a, a, a reddish brown. Like a red bull. Are you talking about like the red bull, honey? Yeah. Yeah, it's not really like red, red, like the like the one that you see on their advertising. Like the, uh, the, uh, the like the last unicorn bull, right. The fire bull. No, those, they're not really red like that. Just what? If you push a bull into hot lava, well, it would catch on fire. Yeah, burn to death. Anything would burn to death if you put it in hot lava. <laughs> it's not pleasant. Can you get me some more Kool-Aid, Goosey, Goosey? And pick up all these pillows off the floor, please, when you're done. Just get the Kool-Aid first. We were watching volcanoes today. Mater wanted to see what lava looked like. He's like, his lava's not real. And I'm like, yes, it is. It's inside the earth. It's inside the earth, that's right. And then the, where, where the crust is split, the lava comes back out, doesn't it? It was kind of neat to see, wasn't it? Like inside, like and then we watched a tsunami. Remember how crazy that was, Mater? That huge wave? Sadly, all those people died. We watched the Japanese tsunami. Just crazy, man. Uh, that whole... Dad? Yes. Talking to the mic. I can't hear you. Dad? Yes. It's, so, if the, so if a boy hits you, I'm asking you to stay away? Yeah, the bull wants you to stay away. If, if you Basically, you just kind of stay away from bulls. You don't want to be near bulls. Because they're mean. Uh, yeah, not all, not all, not all bulls are mean, but they're they're they they tend to be very territorial, and they tend to be a little bit rough. That's baby bulls aren't mean. Uh, baby bulls are calves. Yeah, they're not mean. You're right. They don't get mean until they're, but they're pretty young when they start getting aggressive. I mean, it's not like they're old or something. Let's see what happens. I don't know with this wagon if I have to unlock them before I before they'll fall in, but I think. Yes. Bulls hit you. you wish that bulls wouldn't hit you? No, you. Me, they don't hit me. But when they come out. Where? Here? Yeah. In the game? No, no, I'll find in the house. They don't come out there to this house. Put the cup over here, Goose. They'll never be bulls by our house because nobody around here has cows or bulls. We had roosters. What'd you say, Goose? What, honey? Go ask Seth. Dad. All right, so I think. Dad, Dad. so if they like bulls, will they kill you? 
Do I like bulls or will they kill you? What? Yeah, baby. Hey, what? Baby what, mate? So you what, mate? So Alright, so let's see here. I'm gonna... Hang on, matey. Let me figure this out. Hold on, mate. We're gonna... Unload product. Oh. Oh! <laughs> well, that didn't go quite so smoothly as I thought it would, but that's okay. What we'll do is now that we got them all up here, I guess I could probably reload them, but I'm just going to grab the... Uh, I'll grab our little... <laughs> Hi, John. Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. Daddy, so stay away from bulls? Stay away from bulls? So stay away yeah, from you just stay away from them. You don't need to mess with them. So You've been messing with the bull. Now here come the horns. Was that SpongeBob when he ticks off Sandy? Uh oh. Now I thought I bought a bale handler. Um, let me see here. We have uh, skid steers, and we have this. I know I've got one. Yeah, where is it? I own one. Right. So where is it? Uh, P. No. I. Aye, aye, Captain. Dad, so you stay away from board, they kill you. What? So if you stay away from board, they kill you. If you stay away from them, no, they won't. I don't know where that is. I'm just going to reset it so I have it so I don't have to search for it. Dad, of course, then again, where does it reset Dad, to? That's the... Remember Josephus? And in SpongeBob, they're sea fish. Yeah. Like, like how they go sea fish when they go camping. When they go camping? Yeah. Do you mean the sea bears? Yeah, sea bears. Oh, the sea bear. <laughs> and it comes after them. When Squidward stands, he's he's like. Ah, 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 ah. Bears, you guys are full of crap. Sea, sea bears. Sea bears. The sea bear was mean. He kept beating up Squidward, remember? Yeah. Did you think that was funny? That why bulls are mean and, and, and sea bear are mean. <laughs> There's no such thing as a sea bear, honey. There's plenty of mean animals in the sea without having sea bears. <laughs> Turtles are only nice eggs. Turtles are nice, yeah. Uh, Japanese people eat turtles. Maybe Spanish people. There's a, there is a, there is turtle soup. It's for real. It's in real life. Yeah, this is bringing in some money. Oh yeah. But in a, turtles and oats, you don't eat them. Turtles and oats. And oats, and you don't eat them. Uh, some people do. They actually would have hurt you? Yeah. It's funny how sometimes you can move stuff and sometimes you can't. <laughs> Goosey, can I have Kool Aid? He's in my room. I love Tell Soupy I need Kool Aid. Can you give me some Kool Aid, Chibi? Can you give me some Kool-Aid, Chubba? A goosey I walked off with my glass that had ice in it and didn't bring it back. I called you Chibi. <laughs> well, Chubby, Chibi, Chubba. Can you get me a cool, my Kool-Aid back, please? Goosey walked off with my Kool-Aid. It's a cup full of ice. And I asked her for more Kool-Aid, and she walked off with it and then never came back. <laughs> no, just could you get it, Evelyn? She doesn't know where it is. She went up to ask Seth, and then she never came back. Could you just get me Kool-Aid? That's all I want. That's a cup right there. Put some ice in it and get me Kool-Aid. Use that cup right there. Okay, go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. 
Go to bed. Go to bed. Where's the cup? Violet, where's my cup? Okay. Oh, <laughs> Dude, you're such a hippie. Just give me the freaking cup. <laughs> it's on your she walked off with my cup and it's gone. Violet! Could you find the Kool Aid, please? She couldn't find it. It's so weird. The worship band at church, man, they play with, uh, we actually have tracks that play in the background. So for like, like right now, I don't know. They got one. This is so cool. The one guitar player, he's already got like a full pedal board and everything, but he's like, you know, he's like, I decided because they, you know, I wanted a volume pedal. And I'm like, I just, I can't, they're like, I, you do need, because they're like, can you do swells? And I'm like, well, no, I can't really afford a volume pedal. They're expensive. They're like, you know, guitar effects. For those of you that don't play, you're looking at about 100 Two hundred and twenty dollars for each effect. The volume pedal is a little less expensive at about ninety bucks with tax. I was like, "Listen, I'll pick one up, but it's going to be a while. I just I don't have the extra income right now to, to buy a guitar pedal, and uh, my wife will be angry." And so he went out and bought to donate to the church the latest uh, pod. I don't know if you guys you guys probably don't know unless you're guitar players, you know what the pod is. But he got the latest pod pedal. It's like the five hundred. XT Live or something like their 500 H HXDY 500 or something. I don't know. It's like some brand new pedal. It's like this, the seventh edition of the pod pedal. Like, for me to use. He's like, here, this is for you to use. He's like, I mean, obviously, you know, you know leave it here at church because it's for everybody. Any guitar players that come in that don't have equipment or whatever, we can just have them have this. And But he's like, yeah, he's like, you know, it's obviously got, got like hundreds of presets. He's like, so you can just, you know, you know, make your own presets and save them on here. And I'm like, dude, you freaking rock! Like, I just <laughs> he bought. I was, I was like thinking I was gonna have to buy one, and like those are like 400 bucks, dude. I was like, man, I'm gonna have to save up and get a new pedal, so I get to use that one. He's like, here, no, you just use this one. I'm like, dude, you are awesome. Like, it's just what a blessing. So I thought that was really cool. But anyway, it's interesting. We play uh, our church plays that they, you know, so if you're learning a guitar part or something. They actually have tracks that they play. So they buy the tracks from the artists. And so when you go to play the song, there's actually tracks in it already. Uh, it's really weird. So like pads and stuff, like where they have like these weird like extra pads and stuff. We play to a click track. And uh, and then that way they can run loops. And it, you know, it even has like in our headset, the people in the audience don't hear it. But in my headset, like I have a, a set of ear monitors that I wear. The girl will tell me when to play my part. She'll be like, guitar in three two one and then i play my part it's really cool i was like dude this is awesome like it's it's so advanced like <laughs> so like the audience doesn't hear any of it but i hear like like a click track and then she'll be like guitar and three two one and then i play my part <laughs> isn't that cool all right so we're gonna do this now we are gonna um we're going to stop the automatic loading. We're going to show the unloading help. And what this does is it shows you where it's going to unload. I'm going to take M, unload. We're going to unload to the back. So this should, this should, the first time I forgot to do this. So now, and now we can hide the help. And I can just say, um, unload. Oh, for the mother load of mother money. So there we go. $648,000. Definitely not as big of a take home as our, our, um, initial, what is it? I forget what we made. I think it was like, what did we do? Oh, we chaffed all of the uh, straw. We're, we, we're not going to be able to do that again because we need to have that straw. Now, uh, shift. Oh, no. Uh, I, I could chaff hay or grass using a silage harvester, but for now, that's plenty. I really, you know, it's just made almost half a million dollars. What could I complain about, really? Yeah, this is the only spot in the map that I've seen so far where the frame rates get bad. And that's because I got all this equipment parked in here, and then we're in a tight space. Might be some of that water effect, too. Whoops. So anyway, that's this trailer. It's pretty cool. It's a neat mod. 
Uh, don't ask for it because I don't remember where I got it from. It wasn't maybe it wasn't Mod Hub. I think Mod Hub has it though. You just look for this trailer. Look for look at type in for in the search Marshall, and then it's a multicolor trailer. Oh my gosh! Can I please have Kool Aid, please, please, somebody? Evelyn, can I have Kool Aid? Yeah. Hey, what? Ooh, I didn't shut the other tractor off. <laughs> yeah, we did that for real. <laughs> what does this guy have? Okay, he can handle bales too. But I don't really need him to do that. I wonder... Gosh, I'm just trying to think of what I need to do. <sighs> How can I better... This guy needs to be put away. 